What is up everyone, Nafla here and welcome back to my top 5 mods of the month series. In this video we will be looking at the 5 best mods that were created for Fallout 4 on PS4 in October 2018. Remember, if you want to be notified when next month's episode releases, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Let's get straight to it. I'm flying high. Up first at number 5 is Go Green Go Ghoul by OIC Toot P. I have no idea how you're meant to pronounce that, <laughs> apologies. The people of the Commonwealth have found a way to harness the radioactive power of the glowing ghoul. This mod adds 3 new items to the workshop mode that allows you to trap a glowing ghoul in a power pod and use it to power up your settlement. To do so, all you need to do is open up your build menu and go to the power section, then generators, then you need to scroll over to the glowing ghoul and place it. Don't worry, it won't attack you, it will just be idle unless you attack it. If you do attack it, you won't do any damage, however it will turn into an enemy and your turrets and settlers will start attacking it. The ghoul itself just runs away, but you can't kill it and your settlers will continue to attack it, so try not to attack it. I would recommend saving just after placing it, just in case you damage the ghoul by accident. Once you've placed the ghoul, place the power pod next to it, then move the ghoul into the power pod and place the switch somewhere on the pod, Flick the switch and now it works just like any other power generator and provides a respectable 100 power units, which should be more than enough for most settlements. I really love this idea, I think it's really creative and it looks awesome. I will definitely be using this as my power generator of choice from now on in all of my settlements. I mean, who wouldn't want a deadly glowing ghoul trapped and forced to provide power in their settlement? What could go wrong? Next up at number 4 we have Raids, Coman Cove by Mr. Taters. Raids stands for Rigorous and Immersive Dungeons, as this mod is the first of a series of upcoming dungeon mods, and for the first dungeon, Coman Cove shows that these mods have a lot of potential. Coman Cove is located on the northeastern coast of the Commonwealth and takes around 30 to 40 minutes to complete. It takes you through an underground dungeon maze with lots of meandering and confusing paths to follow, which are filled with Mylurks, Myluck Kings, or deadly radioactive tunnels. The maze is challenging and I found myself getting lost on several occasions, however never to the point that it got annoying, I enjoyed trying to remember which paths I had already taken to figure out how to get to the end of the dungeon. The Mylurks made it even more challenging, although I would have liked it more if there was a big fight at the end against a legendary Mylurk queen or something like that, just to make it even more challenging. Whilst exploring you will come across a holotape which will explain what the end goal is and once you get there you are rewarded with some decent loot which makes the dungeon worth exploring. Whilst this isn't the best dungeon mod, and there are areas that could be improved, it's still a fun and well made mod that provides 30 minutes of enjoyable gameplay, and I can't wait to play the new dungeons as Mr. Taters releases them. At number 3 on the top 5 list, we have Sanctuary Estates Minutemen version, by Madrox. Most of you that have been actively modding Fallout 4 over the past year will have likely heard of or downloaded one of Madrox's Sanctuary Estate mods. This time it's got a Minuteman theme, with Minutemen flags plastered around, defensive turrets and even a few Minutemen soldiers guarding the estates. There are plenty of apartments for settlers to live in, there is a crafting room which also contains the workshop and a power generator which allows you to power up the entire settlement. The estates look fantastic, with modern looking roads, lamps, houses, even a bridge with a water feature, and an elevated platform that allows you to look over the entire settlement. In true Madrox style, the estates look fantastic, and make Sanctuary Hills the envy of the Commonwealth. In my humble opinion, this version of Sanctuary Estates is the most realistic version of this mod, as the last surviving Minuteman that we all love, Preston Garvey, travels here with you, therefore Sanctuary Hills becomes a Minutemen settlement, as all the settlements are. So I think if you're going to download one of the Sanctuary Estates mods, this is the most law-friendly version. Although modern buildings, bridges and clean apartments are fairly unlaw friendly I'm sure you get what I'm trying to say. The penultimate mod on this top 5 list is Father Companion Alternate Ending Option by Toro Montana. Before we get into this mod, I should warn you that there will be major story spoilers, so if you haven't finished the main story of Fallout 4, I will leave a timestamp in the description so you can skip this mod. Ever wanted to save Father, aka Sean? Now you can. In terms of Fallout lore, saving Sean is completely possible, but unfortunately the vanilla game did not allow you to explore those options. What if you used Jack Cabot's serum, or the FEV virus? 
was there something more to Vault 81? With this mod, saving father is now possible, even if you choose to side against the Institute. Whatever faction you ultimately pick, Brotherhood, Minutemen, or Institute, it doesn't matter. Between the first Directorate meeting, where Sean reveals he's got cancer, and the end of the main story, you will have a chance to complete a side quest from Dr. Dean Volkert and obtain a cure for Sean. There are two ways to cure Sean. You can give Dr. Volker a sample of the Cabot's family mysterious serum, which can be found by completing the Cabot family side quest, and the new Vault 81 research found in Curie's room to devise a cure for Sean's cancer, or you can convince Dr. Volker to give you the Institute's forced evolutionary virus, FEV for short, which you can then administer to Sean to turn him into a super mutant instead of curing his cancer with the serum and the research. The cure or the FEV can be administered right at the end of the main story when Sean is on his deathbed. If you side with the Institute, Sean will fake his death so that you can still lead them. If you side against them, he will escape before the explosion. To find him after the main story has ended, you should continue playing and soon a courier will contact you telling you to go to Vault 111. The courier never showed up for me for some reason, so after waiting for about a week in the game by sleeping, I just went straight to Vault 111 and found him in there. If you give Sean the cancer cure, he will just be waiting for you in full power armor and carrying an automatic institute rifle. Now you can talk to him and after passing a speech check, you can now convince him to follow you around the commonwealth and fight by your side. If you gave Sean the FEV virus, he will turn into a super mutant and will be wearing the same clothes as Virgil. Personally, I actually prefer super mutant Sean, I think it suits him. As a bonus, Sean doesn't take up a companion slot, so you can travel with Sean and another companion, which is great. Now you can travel with your son and make up for all those lost years. There are some things to note, however, for the PS4 version due to the modding limitations. There is no voice acting, no lip movement, you can't command Sean to do specific things, if you dismiss him he will only ever go to good neighbour, quest progress won't be tracked so you will have to remember what you have done and what you haven't done, there is no lab coat for mutant Sean, and some other minor things. On all versions of this mod, you can't get Sean if you have already completed the main quest. You will have to load a previous save, or use a different character that hasn't completed the story yet, or start a new game. This is a fun little mod that is actually in the realms of possibility, and I think there are a lot of people that were confused as to why we couldn't at least try to save Sean in the vanilla game. If you want to travel around the commonwealth with Sean, give this mod a try. Show me the ring and the best mod that released for Fallout 4 on PS4 in October 2018 is Nuclear Autumn by DRM Abuse 1981. This mod is a PS4 exclusive autumn themed green mod that adds customised weathers and reduces god rays to maintain performance. The style of this visual and weather overhaul is very similar to the style of Fallout 76 with autumn trees and less dead looking grass. It even adds birds and animal sounds to the world to make it feel less dead. This is a wonderful mod that really makes the world look so much better and feel so much more alive. I'm going to be quiet for a minute and just show you a few comparison shots so you can really see the difference. That will take us to the end of this video, I do hope you enjoyed it or found it helpful in some way. If you did, please leave a like and hit subscribe and click the notifications bell button next to the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a new video. If you want to help me make more and better videos, consider supporting me on Patreon at Kingdoms of Man. Thank you so much for your support Kingdoms of Man, it means a lot. I'll see you in the next video, good luck out there in the wasteland.